Miss Kim is about to have a hissy fit. She said, take that gum. I said, I'm gonna have him put it behind his ear. She said, no, 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 have him put up his nose. So, Miss Kim is having a hissy fit. Interview. Interview. Do you understand what I'm asking you? When are you gonna do it? <laughs> Guys, yeah, those are live. Let me get there. Can I have your attention, please?
they do a lot of uh, calls. They do a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, sessions with these athletes to make sure they are NCAA uh, eligible, that they've done the right uh, paperwork. And believe me, that's a chore sometimes following behind these guys. Uh, but those, our counselors do a great job. And then, of course, our teachers. Our teachers who prepare them and, and you know, make them come to the line for the academic requirements necessary. And so it is, it is an honor to have an opportunity today to see this happen. They're as excited. They feel like parents, believe me. I know I do uh, when I get a chance to watch these guys go. Uh, so it's an exciting day. Uh, I'd like to congratulate these eight athletes. This is a milestone that has been accomplished. Uh, this is an opportunity that wakes on them, but I also want to challenge them. This is just a step. Uh, you know, they're going to go on to teams. They're going to be a part of teams where it's made up of star athletes from different high schools. They'll be back in a competitive environment. Uh, sometimes there'll be somebody with a little more talent than they do. Uh, our challenge to you is, is show what Fair Oaks all about. Go there and be the difference makers that I know you are. Go there and be a positive impact to the teams that you're a part of so that they will know what type of community you come from and what type of person you are. You represent us. And as we send you out of here with these chances to go on these athletic teams, make us proud. I know you will. Let's give it up for our athletes. Today we have two. I think we'll have more before it's over with, like a lot of these other sports will. The first guy today is Tyron Willis. Tyron is signed. He's signed with Alabama Prep School. It's in the East Atlantic Conference. It is a uh, prep school that plays a JUCO schedule as well. Um, Tyron came out to football as a junior. Uh, you know, I remember he was a guy that just wanted to be a part, and he worked it, you know, the first year, it was a learning year for him. Last year, he worked tirelessly in the offseason. Really improved his strength, got so much better, and this year uh, was an impact player for us on our defensive front. Earned a couple of starts for us this year, and now has an opportunity to go into Alabama prep, and we wish him luck. Very competitive, very competitive person. 
uh, employer. And that, and that competitive spirit bleeds over the way she goes about her off-season uh, preparation and her practice on a daily basis. Uh, she is she's blessed with God-given ability, but she's been blessed by God by a lot of other things. She has a phenomenal family. And that family support, her mom and dad, her dad is one of our coaches. Um, and both sides of that family, from the LaGrews and the Littles, they're so supportive of the program, but of, but of Taylor. And I am so proud that she's going to be playing down the road so they can all watch her play. Uh, that's got to be special for the whole family and for Taylor. I would like to add this. This is a day that's long in coming for Taylor. She, she's been committed at least two years to the University of Mobile. But something that's kind of, and I'm not going to give away details, but something that's kind of kept under the breath because it was ordered that way, Taylor's receiving one of the, the largest grant in aid to play softball at the University of Mobile that's ever been awarded. And I think that's a great The only thing Taylor's missing is a blue map, and we intend to get that this year, right, Sue? We'll get it this year. All right, so it's my honor today to be here on behalf of Taylor. She she makes me proud, she makes her family proud, and she makes Fairhope proud every day. Let's give her one last round.
four-time Mobile Hawkins Club Player of the Week, 7A Coastal Alabama Player of the Year, one of three finalists for the state 7A Player of the Year. Last year, he was a North-South All-Star. This year, he's been nominated for the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Game. Um, he's the all-time leading scorer in the history of Fair Oak High School. And just last night, he became only the 27th person in the state of Alabama to score 2,000 points for his career. And uh, all those are, are really good stats on the floor, but the, the two most important stats to me are this past January, he was named the student of the month by his teachers and his peers for his leadership and his academic excellence. And also, his last three semesters, he has at least had a 3.0 GPA or higher, which qualifies him as a BA. Decided, 
and we look for big things from him as he concentrates on baseball. You know, all three of these young men have a special opportunity in front of, in front of them, and you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what type of team you have for us. And we're really excited about our group this year and then leading us to bigger and better things in the spring. Thank you. Students, I think you can, you can see, we'll, we'll, we'll dismiss here in just a minute. Um, what a fine group of, of athletes we've got here. I don't think this is the last. I think we'll have probably a group that, that is equally this large in our second sign of day, which is April 27th. You know, I think this is an unusual year that the baseball players are uglier than the football players. So uh, I was noticing that a while ago. Uh, what a great group of athletes. Uh, again, we want to challenge them to go. Don't be back in a year. I get tired of seeing that. Let's go, let's stay, let's stick it out. Let's make a difference uh, and, and make Fairhope proud. I, now I'm gonna have uh, Miss Lacey Powell come up. Let me say, this lady is responsible for all the organization here. Let's give her a hand and she's funny to this time. Very excited about signing Alabama Prep. What are you feeling right now after you just got done signing to your letter of intent to Alabama Pro? Well, I feel excited right now, but uh, I'm ready to get out there and, and, and win that championship. Well, we know you are. You'll bring it back home to Pro, right? Show it off a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I will. What, ma what made you decide to sign with Alabama Pro? Uh, just the um, atmosphere up there. It's, like, it's really great. It's, they're a winning team. They want to win every game. They go and practice, winning every game. Yeah, uh, I think it's a it's a uh, good program up there for me. 
to get better and uh, and move on to the next phase of my life. You put on some of my favorite boys, dude, up there, right? Yeah. All right. Well, at Fairup High School, I know you've only played football for about two years now, but what's probably one of your fondest moments here at Fairup High? Uh, well, I want to say the uh, the MGM game when I caught the interception. Really? Yeah, that was that was about my favorite moment. In one, my life. one spin away from pick six, right? Yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty close. I wish I would have got I would have got off that off that um, tackle and scored. Yeah. Anything you're particularly interested in majoring in? Uh, criminal justice. Uh, that's, that's what I'm majoring in. What has you interested in that? Uh, well, well, I always wanted to be a, a marshal or like a policeman or anything like that when I get when I finish my career as a football player. Yeah, that's very impressive. Uh, who who do you think was most influential in your life? Um, I gotta say my my mom, my mom, and my grandma. They they put up with me day in day out. Make me get up, go go work out, get on my grind every every day, and make sure I I have my grades right. I just can't thank them too enough, you know. Yes. Well, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Tyron. Hope you have a very successful year. Thank I you. you. Thank you. We just get the mic. And... 
that you hold it up close to your mouth. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm laughing, bro. I'm be laughing the whole time. <laughs> All right. What are you feeling right now, Merchant? I'm really excited for the opportunity to be a Jaguar and continue the legacy of Fairway Pirate football. I was very, I'm very excited for you, Merchant. Um, what, what made you want to sign with South Alabama? Well, you know, I was offered a scholarship last February to South Alabama, and it was my first scholarship offer. I was talking to a couple of schools, and then I got offered by South, and everything kind of went ahead and went with that. And um, I got offered several more scholarships, but there was nothing that compared to the homey feel of South Alabama football and how they cared about you and how everything was just so – they've been honest with me the whole time. And I visited a couple other places, but it just wasn't home to me. So I'm happy to be a Jaguar. They're getting that new stadium soon, aren't they? Yeah, they're building the indoor right now, and they're building the stadium in a little bit. I get that uh, upcoming class ready. Oh, yeah. What do you think was probably the most influential person in your life? I'd have to say my dad and my mom. You know, they grew up, and uh, they helped me along the way and everything. And a shout-out to all my coaches, Coach, Coach Weingart and Coach Williams, Coach Carter and Coach Duffy and Coach Messina have helped me with everything through my whole time here, and also Coach McConnell. I wouldn't be here without them, and I wouldn't be the man I am today with the athletic ability and this opportunity I have. So I'm just really grateful for them and everything they've done for me in this program. What do you think, as you leave for Hope today, uh, get ready for your next phase in life, what do you think is probably the, your fondest moment here at Fair Hope High School during games, plays, anything like that? I think my best moment was one of my best moments of sophomore year when we, went, when we were 10-0 and 0 and we had a great year through the playoffs and we had a great year and we, uh, we had a lot of memories that year. And also my junior year, it was a great year. I had a great time. I was just getting to be re very, very good in my opinion. And I had something that made me have a setback. And uh, my coaches helped me so much along with that. And the way I came back and trained really hard, and I had another little setback. But if it wasn't for them, none of this, I, would, I probably, I don't know. But they helped me along the way with everything. And I'm just very grateful for that and everything they've done for me in this program and how, I was, how they let me still have a tremendous part of the team. And as we know, we're excited for you because you ain't going to have no setbacks by the fall. You're going to oh, be 100%. Yeah. I'll be 100%. We're ready right to here. watch you on ESPN, all, yeah. the, all those good TV shows. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, you. Merchant. Yep. So, how long have you been playing softball? Um, probably since I was about seven or eight. Okay, that's a long and, time. So, yeah. what influenced you to play softball? Um, I don't know. One year I was just playing soccer, and then the next I was um, wanting to play softball. So, okay. I just did it. <laughs> so, you play catcher. I've heard that is a really tough position. Why did you choose catcher? I honestly don't know. You are just kind of put there? I was just kind of put there, and I liked it, so I yeah. stayed there. What's your favorite thing about catcher? Um, seeing the field. Seeing the field, like, you can see everything? You can see everything, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, what are some of the reasons that you choose the University of Mobile? Um, well, it's really close to home, and I like the coaches and the people around there and yeah. just the – like everything about it. Yeah, your family is a great support system. Yes. Um, who has been your role model on and off the field? My granddad. Your granddad? Yes. Why? Because he's always been so supportive of me, and he just has a big heart, and he's just always there for me. And That's awesome. He's my favorite. Where do you see yourself after college? Um, I either want to go into biology 
and be a biology major and do something in that field or a dental hygienist. So. That's awesome. Yes. What is special about Fairhope High School to you? Um, I guess the people and all the teachers, you know, since my dad's a teacher and I know yeah. all them and I have really close relationships with them. And so it just makes it like a fun experience, like knowing them. Yeah, that's good. Hey, so how long have you been playing golf? Um, I've been playing golf since I was about seven, six or seven, so around 10 years. So why did you choose to play golf? Um, well, my grandfather and my dad and my brother all played golf, and so I just kind of went out and hit balls with my brother when we were little, and I guess I just stuck to it. Yeah, it was a family sport. Yeah. So you had multiple colleges looking at you. What was special about Vanderbilt that stuck out to you? Um, I absolutely love Nashville, and I love the city and everything about Nashville. And I also really like the coaches there. And I know some of the girls that are on the team there now, and we're friends. So it was kind of just a great opportunity that I had to take. Yeah. Who has been your role model on and off the golf course? Um, my dad has been my role model. Well, both my parents, really. But my dad really helped me um, with my golf and my swing and taking me to tournaments and stuff ever since I was little. And so, yeah. Special. Special bond. Where do you see yourself after college? Um, after college, I'm probably going to try to go into the LPGA. But if that doesn't work out, then I have a job. I don't know what yeah. I'm going to do. <laughs> I see you going into the LPGA. So... How do you feel about you and Philip going to do to two different colleges? Um, I don't know. We're going to colleges that are four, like four and a half hours away. So hopefully we can visit each other. Keep and up see the each relationship. Other. Yeah, yeah. When you aren't playing golf, what do you enjoy doing? Um, hanging out with my friends and my family, really, and church. Yeah, going to church and yeah. group and stuff. What is special about Ferrop High School to you? Um, it's such a, I don't know, everyone, like all the teachers and all the coaches are so supportive and it's not like the biggest school ever. And so like you really get to know your teachers and your coaches on like a really personal level, especially with the golf team not being so big, you really get to know your coaches and teammates. And so it's probably the support that everyone has for you. Yeah. And I've had fun playing with you the past couple of years Me too. too. <laughs> Thank you.
like three, four questions. That's all it is. Just make sure you hold this close right, you to your mouth. Mic. Yeah. Uh, oh. Just down there at the bottom of your chin. You ready? What are your thoughts right now, signing with Murray State? I don't know. I'm just happy to be there and ready to go. What made you want to sign with Murray State? feels like signing with Fairhope again is like another home. What do you plan on uh, as you leave Fairhope? What do you think is your fondest moment here at Fairhope High School, all your years playing basketball here? Um, definitely last night scoring my 2,000 point and my first dunk here. How, uh, what grade were you in when you first started playing basketball? Or how old were you? I was four. Yeah, you've been playing for a while, haven't you? Yeah. So, as you move on uh, and go to Murray State, what do you plan on majoring in? Physical therapy. You want to be like a physical therapist, team doctor, what? Physical therapist. All right. Well, I'm glad you... So I'm Murray State, and I hope you have a very successful four years there. Thank you, young man. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay. Oh, sorry. We should have a mat over there. Oh, my gosh. We're sorry, good. Oh, yeah. So what are your thoughts right now signing today? <sighs> what are my thoughts? Uh, I'm pretty excited. I mean, I haven't really taken it in yet. But, you know, I'm just looking ready for the future. What made you want to sign with uh, Coastal Alabama? Uh, I just thought it was the best start for me, with uh, academic-wise, and just I'll go there for two years, play baseball, and if I can carry that career farther, then I will. But if not, then I'll All end right. it right there. As you uh, leave Fairhope, what do you think is probably your fondest moment here? My like, fondest years moment playing foot baseball. I honestly couldn't say. I mean. My past four years here, it's been crazy moments. It's been emotional moments. So I don't know. I couldn't really give you pinpoint on one certain moment. There's been some great ones and some bad ones. So all right, that's fine. When you go to Coastal Alabama, is there anything you're particularly trying to major in or get um, ready for? I'm definitely gonna go into business. Um, but other than that, I really don't know. So I'm gonna have to figure that out pretty soon. All right. Well, sounds like you got it all planned. Uh, yeah. Hope you have a good time at Coastal Alabama. And Thank you. Have a very bright future. Thank you.
It's fine. What are your thoughts right now signing your letter of intent? Uh, this is awesome. I've been waiting for quite a while to do this, and the, all the hard work is finally paying off, and I'm looking forward to being able to play in college. How long have you been playing baseball? Probably since I was three or four, ever since I can remember. Yeah. Um, what made you want to sign with this school? I really just like all around the I mean, coaching staff. I like the school. I like the environment there and the areas. I just think it's really awesome there. And I'm looking forward to being able to play with those guys and get to know the coaches a lot better. All right. Well, after you're closing this chapter here at Fair Hope soon, and when you get up there, after you leave Fair Hope, what do you think it's going to be the one memory that's your, probably your fondest memory here at Fair Hope? You're playing baseball. Game winning home hit, home run, catch, anything like that? Definitely just going out and practicing with the guys every day. Yeah, the games are awesome, but there's only so many of those, and there's a lot more practices, and you spend more time with them, and you really get to know them, and they're not just teammates. They're a lot more of a brotherhood, and it's always good. You go out there every day and get some work in. All right, well, when you get up there, is there anything particular you're trying to study in? I, I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> Still trying to figure it out. It's all right. Well, I hope you have a very bright future ahead of you. We all think you do, and represent Ferret very, very proud here. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Short and sweet with all your buddies, I promise. Huh? Get it short and sweet with all of them. Alright. Uh, Do I have to actually hold this? Yes, you have to hold it up to your chin. Like okay. What are your thoughts right now as you sign your letter of intent to EMCC? Oh, I am uh, very pleased with it. I am looking forward to many more mem memories at East, and hopefully, I can uh, advance my college to a four year school after. Um. As you leave here, what made you want to sign with the MCC? Uh, just the kind of family structure they have. Everyone's real close up there. And uh, I just want to work on my baseball craft, and I think that's what East provides for me. As you leave here today and start a new chapter at EMCC, and 
What's going to be probably your fondest moment that you remember from Fairhope? Definitely all the people I've met and all the uh, just friends I've made here. Fairhope's a great town, and I'll most likely come back here with my kids. All right. When you get up there, is there anything you plan on getting to learn, like a major or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I want to do business, but I'm not sure quite, like, specifically what type of business I want to be in. All right. Sounds like you got yourself on the right chapter right now. And, well, Pharaoh's very proud of you, and they expect big things. Thank you so much.